Okay, so you can see it. Good. Yeah, I was talking to Zoe a few days ago and I was uh, saying to her, I don't know what happened over the weekend, but it almost felt like um, part of my brain did a bit of house cleaning or something. Almost like um, you think of like Charles Latora working on his game dinner or whatever, you know what I mean? And and finding like uh, like just some extra space and to move some stuff around. And it was like, oh, goody, I get to like... Um, Ah, just felt like I wanted to go and create and think about things. Um, so anyways, this is one of my flippin' fav favorite games. I, uh, I actually ran this at Can Games way back when. Just picked this up about, what, two two summers ago, I think. Um, or maybe just one summer ago. I had no idea. There's only one other person that I know that has this game, uh, Meandering Mike. And I knocked my socks off when I found out he had it. Uh, and I knocked my socks off the first time that even somebody even had a board game made of it. Um, I made this uh, uh, from scratch. Well, I um, stole the image from here, colored it up, and then stole some other whatevers and stuck these things together. Flippin' love this game. It's one of my favorite games. Uh, I love playing. First and foremost, though, to remember about this game, it is a betting game. And it was so cool. I was bringing this stuff upstairs. I was like, because I was like, I gotta remember to mention that it's a betting game. <laughs> and like in the in the uh, Patoli uh, board game, it's got Patoli betting cards. I was like, wicked. Anyways, look, man. Let's be honest. Um, my mind revolves around the Great War. I just try to figure out. Oh, that could turn be turned into something. Uh, Great War related. It's, I'm it's where where I'm at, man. Anyways, this uh, is a cribbage board. It can also uh, be used for naughty, not, don't start going into that world, N-O-D-D-Y, which is, I think, the precursor for cribbage. Anyways, I picked this up, oh my gosh, uh, well, it'll be a little, just a, just a, sh uh, a tad over no uh, 10 years ago, I picked this up in England, uh, in Minehead, uh, a little thrift shop there. Uh, I think I paid like two pounds, something crazy like that. I can uh, I can remember that vividly. That scene of picking this up, I, I was just absolutely dumbfounded. I couldn't pick. Uh, like I was like, this is a beautiful cribbage board. It's a half board if you want to look at it that way. Like you got to go around twice, or whatever. Um, love it, love it. And then I looked at this and I was like, wait a minute. I just did a little chit chat about um, finding. Um, uh, looking at World War I uh, trench games and whatnot, and then finding out about the Ludo thing, and then I was like, wait a minute. That's, uh, yeah, and then it was an awful lot like Patoli. Oh, those was my original pieces that I was using at, well, I still use them, but I also uh, used them um, at Can Games. Like I said, I was really surprised uh, how many people, well, it was full. I think I rolled like, oh, sorry, you gotta do five here. Um, uh, I think it was like, um, I ran like eight people. I remember at the time, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, I even said to Zoe, God, I hope nobody signs up. <laughs> I love doing these things, but I, I'm also like, I'm so anxiety ridden with people. I'm always like, so it's just, it's so weird. And everybody signed up. So what's that, a one? So yeah, you're allowed to move my one pieces. Anyways, there's a lot of little rules here, like, you know, skip a turn, safe spot, so on and so forth. And I was like, gosh, I really want to like, uh, I was just staring at this board. I was like, hey, turn this into a, like a trench raiding uh, game or like Snakes and Ladders or the Batoli thing or uh, Modification Rock, Paper, Scissors if you want to go into crazy land and start, you know, worrying about um, artillery, like in front, uh, back line, front line, whatever. But anyways, it's like, okay, wait a minute here. Let's just look at it. Just keep it simple, Chris. Uh, try to reskin Batoli onto this board, but use a... Um, you know, like a World War One, Great War uh, theme here. So you got like I'm like, well, it's so flipping easy. I can see this a mile away. So you start here. You got to run your like your uh, do a trench run back and forth. And that let's take a look at the whole board here and use its pieces or use its whatever. So I'm like, see the section. You got this section, section, back and forth. Maybe this spot is kind of like this spot. See what I'm saying? So these pieces. Let's say if I had a uh, you know, the opposing player had um, their piece, uh, their peg here, and I had a peg over here. Uh, what would happen in their safe spot? They were there first, therefore, 
I have to go. You know what I mean? Maybe it's there. Maybe it's called a dugout. This is obviously the the no man's uh, land. You get the idea. Uh, you know, sap trenches, communication trenches. Um, uh, uh, these are like, um, you know, miss a turn, roll again, that type of stuff. So it could be a li that type of thing. Uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy as far as I'm concerned and I'm not going to like I'm just going to uh, take a look at this board and go because I want to start uh, was looking at you know trying to think of things of like um, you know I'm like we were talking about this uh, before about the trench boredom and so on and so forth there's monster amounts of inactivity and whatnot I was like yet again this is uh, look I'm just off in wonderland man I just want to continue doing what I'm doing which is just like Oh, there's just so much to go. It's just so much there. Anyways, hope you're having a good time. I'm, I'm, I am. See ya.